Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's lovely to have you here again on Rainbow Tarot UK with me, Nev, for another pick a card reading. So today we're doing what has your person realised about you and the connection? And we've got three uh, piles to choose from as usual. We've got pile number one, which is the chariot uh, card here with the um, obsidian, obsidian stone. Then we have a pile number two, which is the star with this little red bead that I've got here. Um, and then pile number three is the judgment card. There we go. And um, with the calcite. Okay, so we've all got three major arcana cards there, haven't we? Okay, so just go for the one that, that feels right and I'll see you very soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pal number one, welcome, welcome to your reading. So today we're doing, aren't we, um, what has your person realised about you and the connection? And you chose to come into the reading under the chariot card. Now this deck is called the, I think it's called the Supernatural Tarot deck. Um, and it's actually, I think it's based on a TV show, even though I've not actually ever seen a TV show. But anyway, uh, you came in under the chariot card, plus the obsidian stone here. So let's put that there so that we can see your stone and your card. Um, all right, so let's get straight to it. How is everyone? I really hope you're doing okay. Uh, you're doing well. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. It's always nice to hear from people. So, you know, let me know how you're doing. And also, if you like the reading as well, <laughs> let me know that too. Um, but anyway, let's get straight to some oracle cards for pile number one. And, uh, you know, it's a general reading. You know the score. Just take the messages that feel right for you. It's timeless. So it's good for whenever you're finding it. So um, yeah, it should be relevant. But let's get straight to it. So let's ask for um, pile number one. You know, what has their person realized about them and the connection? What has their person realized about them and the connection? What do we realize? Let's have a look here, see what we got. Miracles, oh, lovely, okay. So maybe they're having um maybe they're feeling like this situation either requires a miracle or it's um a, you know a miraculous situation in their life that they love because you've got the double rainbow here so it could be that they're they're realizing um yeah realizing your worth if you like um realizing as well that this situation means a lot to them, that it's kind of like um, pretty amazing actually, because around all these double rainbows, you've got all these beautiful stars as well. Um, you know, it's, it's very spiritual as well, because it's got this, it's showing this kind of like this mountain close to the close to the heavens here. So maybe it's thinking it's spirit, it's got a strong spiritual link, you've got um, a really a deep bond, there's balance in it, it brings hope. Or they want hope in the situation. This could also be what they want. They want a miracle in the situation. They want there to be hope in the situation. Um, it could because your main card is the chariot. Now, what I'm a chariot normally means speed. It means um, tra transport. It means moving towards something with focus. But because in this particular chariot, you've got the moon card here, so it's making me feel like things might be a little bit clouded at the minute, like not clear. Um, but it could also mean that there are things going on behind the scenes with this person that you're not realising or that you're not seeing. So they could be having realisations about you and about the connection that you aren't party to, that you um, that they're hiding from you or that they're keeping from you. So maybe they uh, want to move in the connection or they want to move towards the connection, but they're not showing you that you can't see that. It could be also that that's going on as well. Uh, with the chariot here there might be some confusion at the moment or some lack of clarity and maybe they want to move towards a more clear situation with you possibly but it might require in their mind it might require a miracle or take a miracle for that to happen 
um, which they would love to have with you. So something like that. But anyway, let's get another card out here. What have they realised? What have they realised about pile number one, please, in the connection? What have they realised about pile number one in the connection? You are limitless. You can do anything you choose. Okay, with the unicorn here and the two swans. Um, miracles, you are limitless. So they might be realising that this connection... Um, you know, has a lot more to it than maybe they initially believed or initially um, invested in. So maybe they are realising that they'd like to now invest in the connection and maybe they didn't before because they're kind of realising its depth or they're realising um, how far they can go in the connection or uh, what they want from the connection. And maybe they were unclear about that or unsure about that before. Something like that. But let's get out some tarot. What is pile number one's person realising about pile number one? It's something like magical, isn't it? Because you've got a unicorn, you've got miracles. Like I think this person is realising that there's some, some magical link or some um, maybe some link between the two of you, maybe as well, that they can't quite explain, um, but they feel it. Um, something like that. What are they realising about pile number one, please? What is pile number one's person realising about pile number one and the connection? So we have the nine of swords. We have the six of wands. We have the death card. The two of pentacles. And the emperor. And the overarching energy is the Five of Pentacles. So this situation that we're talking about here, uh, it may be that this person feels um, somehow distant from you, or it feels to them like currently the situation is lacking in some way with the Five of Pentacles. They're not getting a lot from the situation. It could be for some of you that you're in separation uh, with the Chariot card here in that moonlit scene, really, so where things are hidden. So it could be that the overwhelming with the Five of Pentacles is something that is lacking, where somebody feels out in the cold. This person might be in that situation with you because it's the overarching energy of the situation. So it could be that you're in, situ could be that you're in separation, possibly, or that the, the connection feels a bit cold. It doesn't feel like it's got much warmth to it. And this person is going through a lot of worry and a lot of strain and a lot of struggle, I think, at the moment in, in this connection. They're not kind of happy or maybe they're thinking that you are not happy in this connection. And I think what this person wants is that or what they've realised is, is that um, there needs to be transformation. This, this situation some, somehow needs to transform from what it is at the minute. Because the death card is central and that is all about change, rebirth, transformation. So it could be that the situation is dead or it looks like it's dead or it looks like it's come to an end or maybe it has come to an end or it feels like it's emotionally not, you're not connected. And I think this person is realising that in order for it to be, in order for it to move with the chariot card, in order for it to move forward and be successful and be victorious, um, there needs to be some kind of transformation. It may be they're also thinking that they need to, or realising that they need to, um, maybe they need to choose somewhere in this situation. So maybe someone in this situation needs to choose between some you know, between something or between two things or whatever. Because that that thing, those two things or the things that they're weighing up or the thing that may be getting in the way of this connection is causing rough waters for this connection. It's causing choppy waters for it. And I think they're realising that they have to choose. So it could be that they have to choose, um, I don't know, maybe they have to choose between you and another person or maybe they have to choose to prioritise you over other things or you know they're realizing and recognizing that they need to um, maybe they need to prioritize uh maybe they weren't doing that before prioritize you prioritize the connection um 
and they're realizing yeah there's something there's something about them that they need to sort of take they, they need to take charge of this situation or they need to be in charge of this situation or maybe they need to be the one to direct where it's going to go next so maybe they were you know maybe they caused it to come into separation before or they are causing the problems or they feel that they're causing the issues and they now need to take charge they need to come up with a plan what they're realizing is they need to come up with a plan and a strategy to sort of somehow move the situation forward in some way uh, that's kind of what i'm feeling here let's um Okay, so in terms of what we've got, so we've got Aries, we've got Capricorn, we've got um, Leo, we've got uh, Capricorn again, Taurus, and we've also got Gemini energy. So those are just some of the signs that I'm seeing. Let's have a look. Um, let's get some more. Let's get another Oracle card out. So what are they realising? What are they realizing about Carl? Yeah, they could be realizing that it's in, you know it's, it, this kind of situation is in a sort of make or break situation, or it's in a um, it, it's not steady, it's not a secure situation, uh, which they're probably not comfortable with really. So what are they realizing? Yeah, maybe they've got a lot to lose, or maybe they're realizing they've got a lot to lose. Um, that something could drop at any moment in this connection. Or they could be dropped, maybe. Um, what is part number one's person realising about part number one, about the connection? Waiting. Yeah, maybe they have to be patient. Maybe they're realising that they have to be patient. Um, that it's a matter of time. You know, things, maybe they're thinking that time is playing an you know, important uh, role in this connection passing of time or something like that but let's get out one of these what are they realizing about pile number one and the connection please what are they realizing about pile number one and the connection b the b and pomegranate productivity now we've got waiting and then we've got productivity so maybe there's been a period of waiting or a period of things stagnating or things not being clear and maybe now they're thinking we need to come out of that it's time now to come out of that and move into some and you know move into action with the B here things need to be a little bit more fertile again in this situation maybe it's been a bit frozen we need to get things up and running and moving in this in this situation again but let's get out some more tarot. I'm going to have to move these up, I think, aren't I? So that we can see them. Right, okay. So what have they realised? What has Power Number One's person realised about Power Number One and the connection? What have they realised about Power Number One? Maybe they're feeling as realising as well that they need to work for the connection. They need to work a bit harder. They need to be more productive. They need to put more effort in to the connection. That could also be what they're realising. What are they realising? Uh, which is the Ten of Swords, right under the Nine of Swords there, look. The Ten of Swords, right under the Nine of Swords. Okay, what are they realising about this connection? What are they realising? The Six of Pentacles, under the Six. So, so, so Nine and Ten and then Six and Six. Six of Pentacles under the victory card what are they realizing about card number one and the connection the nine of cups the three of swords and the two of wands with the page of pentacles Let's move these up a little bit so we can actually see the page of pentacles here. So what are they realising? They <laughs> excuse me. With the nine of cups, the nine of cups is like a sort of a wish fulfillment. It comes right under the death card, which is transformation. 
they're realizing that their their wish their real wish what they really want is to somehow transform this situation for the better okay i feel like they are very worried if you haven't rejected them already i think there's a lot of fear in them that you are going to reject them or that they will have their heart broken or that they will get hurt in this situation particularly if you drop them or if the connection gets dropped uh, or maybe they're really you know they're realizing that there is a lot of pain in this connection there's a lot of pain or there has been a lot of pain in this connection and they want that to end because the ten of swords is it is a situation that has died so for many of you i do think you are either in separation from this person or that the connection is kind of like in not in not on um not on firm ground if you know what i mean so the ten of swords is like you know a situation that's almost dead that's kind of like you know gone gone under really but there's always that little glimmer of hope so i feel like this person is realizing that we can that's why you got the victory card this situation can be recovered i'm hoping i want this situation to recover it is my dream for it to recover and rejuvenate and with the six of pentacles underneath the victory card it is my dream because the six of pentacles is like reciprocated energy it's give and take it's give and take, you know, it's balance really in many ways. So I feel like this person wants to give to the connection and also it's, you know, it wants to balance things out in a better way for you and for them. Um, and then they, they realise that that might be quite hard to do. They're not saying, but I, I think they realise it's not, they don't think that's easy. But it is their ultimate wish to transform it maybe from something that is cold in the shadows, uh, unclear, mm, confusing, um, things being hidden, uh, that kind of stuff, where you are actually in separation from them, or it's kind of all going on between you. You know, there's not, you know, there's not much closeness between you. Um, and I would say, again, they realise that there's something with the two of wands here. Maybe they're realising that there's something that they need to prioritise. And I think what they're realising is that they they need to prioritise you and the connection. That's what they're realising. There is a look, Both these figures are looking at one over the other. Now, again, this other thing doesn't have to be a person. It can be something else that maybe they have prioritised over you. But they're now realising, because both those cards are in conjunction to the emperor, that's what they need to take charge of. They need to take charge of um, prioritising, putting you as a priority, putting the connection as a priority. Otherwise, it's going to lead to heartache if it hasn't done so already and lost. Now, the Page of Pentacles tells me this person, the Page is like, the Page of Pentacles is like a student, somebody who's learning something, really, somebody who's acquiring knowledge. And it makes me feel that this person wants to learn from whatever has gone down in this situation. They want to learn from it and not repeat it. They want to, uh, and they're beginning to see that. Maybe they're beginning to think there are patterns within me or patterns within this connection that I haven't liked, dynamics that, that haven't, you know, been right for us. Maybe it's separated us or maybe it's causing uh, problems in the connection now and maybe part of those patterns is me not prioritizing pile number one or not um, giving them the focus that i should be giving them and they are learning that within a relationship you know one's partner although one you know has to have a you know a life of your own you have to have a separate life of course you do uh you have to have other friends and all the rest of it but if you're in a committed relationship or you're in a relationship, then your partner has to come first over other, other over other people. When push comes to shove, you know, you, you they have to come first. It shouldn't be a um, a debate for you. It should just be natural, you know, the way that person is, is top of the list, really, um, in terms of, you know, energy and time and all the rest of it. Bearing in mind that one has to have, also have, um, friendships and all the rest of it I'm not saying you shouldn't you, you're just going to focus totally on that one person but it's about knowing that you know you are my partner I am your partner and you know we are clear about that and maybe this person is realizing that maybe they didn't do that before or 
maybe they didn't make you feel like that before and they're learning they are learning in the early stages of realizing and learning that that priority needs to be there um and the chariot is about moving again the chariot often means you know you are being uh you're moving towards one thing one goal in a very clear way at the moment it, it may not have seemed clear or maybe in the past it wasn't clear all the moonlight but now this person is realizing that they need to move in a focused way towards you and the connection and prioritize you i would say so what have we got here we've got uh we've got gemini we've got um taurus we've got pisces we have libra uh, we've also got Aries and we've also got all of the earth signs of Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. So let's get out some charms as well. So what have they realised about how uh, number one on the connection? We've got two here. I mean, this tells me, look, hands are hand, that they, they want to protect the connection. There's And also it could mean that there is protection in this connection, even though it might not feel like it. And that might be why you've got the miracles there, because it's, it's protected, their spirit is around it. And then you've got two little acorns here. Well, that just reminds me of you two, actually, of the two of you, of this, you know, little connection or this connection that you've got. And maybe it's a chance for a new beginning with these two seeds, because two acorns joined together can grow into two huge, humongous oak trees. So it makes me feel like there's, a, you know, there's a chance for a new... A new chance for this partnership, a new beginning here. Uh, but let's get out some cards. Let's get out some message cards for card number one. What has their person realised? What has their person realised, please, about them? Paradise. Happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. What else have we got for card number one and their person? What they realised? Ship. Cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progression and arriving. This could be that this situation is, for some of you, it could be one way or the other. You know, it could be in a, uh, you could, it could be going one way or the other. Um, you know, it could be a move into something, a new beginning, or maybe it's at the time as well, or it could could go. So it might be one if you've got two of pentacles and two of wands, or there's maybe the situation, or this person is realizing. I think I might have touched on it that this situation. Um, you know, could could go one way or the other at the moment, and, and they're hoping it's going to go in their favour. And this is kind of that sort of energy being represented here. Let's have some other cards. Uh, what have, what has power number one's person realised? That power number one. So we've got these that have come out. We've got our paths will always reunite. And then we've got what's the point of it all? Again, that's again that's that sort of like mm, um, that there's two. I think this person is realizing the situation is could could go one of two ways, and I feel like this person is wanting it to go their way, um, or they're wanting it to be victorious. They're wanting it to transform. Maybe it has already come apart, and what they're wanting is a reconciliation, reuniting, really. But there's these two energies within it at the moment. So one last card. What is power? Uh, so maybe they're realising the danger of losing you um, if they haven't done that already, if they haven't lost you already. There's, there's a sort of danger of that, of them being dropped or the situation being dropped. Okay. Do you miss me the way I miss you? Okay, and I'm going to have one more. Oh, that one doesn't seem to want to come out. I thought it did. Let's have this one. I'm tired of running. There you go. So pile number one that has been your reading. I hope you liked it. If you have, do consider subscribing. Otherwise, I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two. Welcome. Welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing... What has your person realised about you and the connection? And you have chosen to come into the reading under the star card. And this is the Supernatural Tarot deck, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, and I was saying the pound number one, I think it's from a sort of TV show, but I, I don't know what it is. I've never watched it myself. But anyway, um, 
this so this is the star plus the little red kind of little red bead here i've got i'm going to put that there for you so you can see it so uh we are doing as i said what your person realized about you and the connection um how are you all doing i hope everyone's good <laughs> i hope you're all you know happy and healthy and everything is going well in your life um obviously and i'm sending you all my love so let's get straight to it with some oracle cards just also saying to you that it's general so just take the messages that resonate with you and leave anything else behind and it is a timeless reading so it should be fine for whenever you are picking it up so let's get straight to it for part number two let us ask what has their person realized about them and the connection please what has part number two's person realized about them and the connection let us have a look here of course the star is always about hope and healing um but let's have a look here solitude oh gosh so there's a lot of calm in these two cards isn't there a lot of peace a lot of calm right okay so let's get out another one let's get out one of these ones what have they realized what have they realized about part number two and the connection They realised about part number two and the connection. Focus on love. Uh, look for the good in everyone. Maybe for some of you, there's a a period of solitude in this connection, or a period of being on your own. Um, and this person is realising that they'd like to have healing in the situation. In that time of aloneness, if they are on their own, or if they're separate from you for some some other whatever reason, you might be separated or something. Um, they're realizing they want some healing in the situation. They're looking for hope because uh, the look for good in everyone is also kind of like a hope, a message of hope, isn't it? Really, focus on love. I feel like this person is maybe realizing how much they love for you. This is card number twenty four, which uh, amounts to six. Sixes are about harmony, restored peace, calm. Again, there's a lot of calm, I said, in these cards. So maybe they're realising that they want restored calm with you or that you make them feel calm, um, you make them feel peaceful. Something about your presence. Um, maybe they're, they're realising that as well. Um, They're realising their love with a focus on love. Okay, so let's get out. Um, do we want to get out? Yeah, let's get out some tarot. Let's see. So what have they realised? What are they realising? What is Carl and Two's person realising? I feel like there is a lot of realisation going on because this this person, this, this young lad here, this young man, look looks like they're going through some kind of a, you know, looks like they're having a lot of download. You know, they look like they are um going through some kind of realization process particularly all the stars around their head because it also means i feel like i've got that whole kind of ping 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 going on you know all these kind of ideas and realizations happening to them um about you and about the connection so what is pile number two's person realizing about pile number two and the connection, please. What are they realising? So we have strength. Uh, what are they realising about part number two in the connection? The seven of swords. The lovers. The king of cups. And the king of wands. Oh, okay. And the emperor. Now, what are they realizing here? Well, the lovers is a card about choice, it's about having to make choices. Um, we've also got a few people in this situation, so this kind of situation might involve more than more than just you and them. Um, I mean, they may feel like it might be, um, 
that this person is realising that you have more than one choice or thinking that you have more than one choice, that you don't have to just choose them. Um, it could also be that something's gone down in this situation. Um, there's been some deceit possibly in this situation. Maybe it's because somebody made a choice. It could have led to separation between the two of you. Or it could have got in the way of the connection because somebody maybe acted selfishly or foolishly or not for the interests of the actual connection. Um, and this person is realising maybe now, in if they're on their own in a time of being on their own, that maybe they acted unwisely or foolishly and should have been stronger. Um, and now they want... You know, they're realising they should they want to be more wise in the connection, they want to be more loving, uh, more giving, more in charge somehow. Maybe they were a little bit foolish in the connection, or they were immature in the connection, or something like that, and they're realizing that that wasn't the way to be. Because this card looks quite a lot, this this young guy looks quite young, doesn't he? So maybe in this period of being on their own or this period of separation or this period of you and them not being that connected in that time of healing because I feel like maybe they're going through a lot of healing they uh, realize that they should have been more mature so maybe they made choices that weren't good for the connection weren't good for you um, or it could be that they think that like I say before that they think you've got choices now so maybe there's maybe this situation has fallen apart maybe you're in separation from this person and now this person is realising that you have got choices. You know, you've got quite a few choices around you. Um, and, you know, maybe they're feeling like they don't have much chance with you. And they, but they would desperately like some healing in this situation. Now, the overarching energy is the emperor. I mean, the emperor is about strategy. It's about planning. It's about stability. So let's see how that... that that plays out there so yeah it could be one of those two things that they feel that you've got choices you've got options or they had choices and options and um those choices and options weren't good for you and them it maybe caused the situation to come down or something like that but with the lovers card as well it is also a significant card in a reading and maybe they're realizing the strength of their feeling for you now because you've got to focus on love, look for the good in everyone. So, and the lovers is kind of like that very, you know, a very um, significant card in a relationship reading. So there's something about this person realising the significance of the relationship uh, that they may have lost or that they think they may have lost uh, due to unwise, you know, unwise behaviour. And they're trying to, con yeah, they're trying, I feel like they're trying to conquer with the strength card and the emperor. Maybe they're trying to conquer the situation again. They're trying to get the situation about, they're trying to heal the situation somehow and come up with maybe a strategy or a plan to move forward um, in the connection through, through sort of, also through maybe through gentleness. So maybe with all this calm here, maybe there's been a lack of calm in the situation or high emotions and what this person is realising is that it needs to be conquered in a gentle way, a strong but gentle way, really. Uh, this person definitely has to have a lot of feeling for you because the lovers and the king of cups right next to each other. So I feel this person is realising maybe the depth of their feeling for you and also their passion and attraction. But something went down here. Um, or, may, or maybe this person is just keeping all this, depending on where you are in this connection, uh, maybe this person is just is is a secret admirer of you. So maybe this person is secretly admiring you uh, from afar. Okay, looking at you because a star can also be um, somebody who's you know popular, who's out there that is admired and looked at. So maybe this person is looking at you from afar. You don't see it. You don't see what they're doing, but they're looking at you from afar. And maybe they're thinking you've got lots of admirers here. Or you've got lots of people that are interested in you. And they're hoping that you're going to choose them. Something like that. That could also be what's going on here. Uh, but what have we got? We've got Leo, Energy, Gemini. All of the water signs, or Cap 
Scorpio Taurus. No, not Sun, not Sun or Rat. Sorry, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Obviously, A Emperor is Aries. But let's get out some more cards here. Let's see what we've got. So, what have we realised? So, we had two that just dropped out. So, I'll take them. So, we've got the Bobcat and the Blackthorn with Patience. What have they realised? Patience and the Snow and huckle Huckleberry. Trust in the Invisible. Again, there's a lot of slow energy. There's a lot of slow energy in this reading. So things could be moving slowly in this connection, or it could be at a standstill, it could be stagnating. Um, something like that. You know, there might have to be a lot of patience in it. So there's some something like that. It's, it's, a, it's kind of like a slow energy, really. Um, or it's a stagnant energy, or an energy that isn't maybe moving uh, at the moment. Or maybe this person is realising that um, things need to be done slowly in this connection. It can't be done quickly. It has to be done thoughtfully. Um, they've got maybe they've got to have patience. Um, maybe they're trying to look. For, maybe they're trying to trust in the connection again, um, or they're hoping that you might have trust in the connection again, especially if something's gone down that. It's been a bit tricky or a little bit sly or something like that. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. Um, so let's move this one right up. What have they realised about card number two and the connection? What have they realised about card number two and the connection? Communion. Is it communion? Yeah, communion. So when two people are coming together. Little couple here on the bench, okay. And under, right underneath the star card, which is about healing, healing and hope. Definitely, this person is definitely looking for you and them to come together again, I think, or to come together in some way, or realizing that they want to be in a union with you. Um, yeah. Let's have um, some other tarot here. What are they realising about pile number two and the connection, please? What are they actually realising about pile number two and the connection? What have we got? We have got the full underneath the strength card. We've got the hanged man. Underneath the Seven of Swords, okay. Um, the Nine of Wands. The Page of Pentacles. And Temperance, right, okay. And what have we got at the bottom? The Magician. Yeah, this person 100% has realised... That they would like to have a new beginning with you, with the full. That is what they want to manifest. Underneath the magician, you, you've got the Queen of Pentacles that has just slipped out there. So the magician is about, what, what they're trying to do is they're trying to manifest. They're trying to conquer the situation. They're trying to come up with a plan or a strategy to manifest this connection with you. And what they've realised is that is what they want to do. They want to have either a new chance with you or a second chance with you. Um, they've... They feel, if, if it's a situation where they've behaved poorly, they feel like they've shifted their perspective or they've got a new perspective or they've learned from their mistakes. They, this is what they feel. Um, or that they need to approach the connection differently from maybe how they did before. Um, <coughs> and they're winning. What they're realising is that they're winning with the Nine of Wands to fight for the connection fight and stand up for it with the nine of wands because that is about standing up for something standing strong um but they feel like there's something about them feeling like they've learned something from this connection or they've learned if you've been in separation they've learned from that separation or they're learning um if it's a crush they're kind of learning more about you learning um how they want to approach it or what they want to do or you know all that kind of stuff and with the temperance, that's about, you know, them wanting to balance things out. And it's also a card of healing again as well. 
with the angel wings. So again, there's a strong emphasis on healing something here, on um, yeah, creating balance and healing it and making it better. Um, but there's definitely a strong realization that what's ever gone, whatever has gone down, yeah, the focus on love couldn't be more apt. I feel like this person wants to focus on the love that they feel for you and the connection that maybe they didn't uh, appreciate before. They feel like they've changed their perspective, that they have a new way of seeing the situation or that they need to have, as I said before, that they need to have a new way of seeing the connection, which values you more. That is what they are thinking. Now, you might, depending on what's gone down here with Seven of Swords, that might be hard for you because you might have suffered a lot in this connection. Um, you know, depending on what happened. They might have chosen someone else over you. They might have left you for someone else and then realised in the period away from you that they want to be back with you. So um, all I'm saying is this is this, this is about focusing on what, what they have realised. But, you know, if somebody has put you through that, then you would need to be very discerning, wouldn't you, about whether, even though they're saying that they want to, you know, start up again, they want to have a new beginning with you, which they definitely do, um, and they definitely want to manifest with you, and they see you with the Queen of Pentacles as somebody who's very desirable, and somebody that they would like to have a stable, committed relationship with, because that is the Queen of Pentacles, um, you might just want to, you know, take your time. You might want to take your time. You know, they might have to be patient for you to decide whether they are somebody that you want to be in a connection with again. Because um, they might be wanting you to focus on love, trusting in this connection between the two of you, you know, all of that kind of stuff. But you, if you've been hurt in this connection, which some of you might have been, uh, then you need to be discerning about whether, um, you know, whether you would want to take this person back and at what, you know, at what point you take them back and what they have to do really to um, prove that they are worthy of your time, attention and love again. That's if it's a kind of like reconciliation situation. So in terms of, uh, so we've got Pisces, we've got um, Sagittarius, uh, we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and um, we have also got uh, yeah, Sagittarius with a Temperance card. Um, so it's just really being aware of that, isn't it? You know, if somebody's if somebody's hurt you uh, through betrayal, for example, which might be what's gone on with some of you. That's what the Seven of Swords possibly would suggest. Um, then they need to work, in my opinion, very hard. To regain that trust, um, even though they may come back and say, "Well, I've changed. I've um, I've got a new perspective now. I see things differently. I see the error of my ways." And um, people have to prove that. With, as far as I'm concerned, people have to prove that with action, with continued, sustained action, and they need to be very, very, very sorry um, for what has gone on and have a complete uh, promise that that will never happen again. And then back it up consistently with action that shows that they, you know, can put their money where their mouth is kind of thing. That's, that's how I would see it. So that's kind of what I'm saying to you here in this situation, pile number two. So what has pile number two person realised, please? There's these here. The dog which is loyalty. So they realise that they like, as again, as I said before, stand up the situation and maybe be loyal to the situation. We do have the dog in the fall, so maybe this time around they want a loyal connection. Maybe there wasn't loyalty before. Of course, we have the cat, which is revival, re renewal, regeneration, with the cat with the nine lives, really. Uh, a lizard is also about renewal and regeneration because their tails can renew and regenerate uh, very quickly. And then we have this feather, sort of like in the shape of a knife, isn't it? So feathers are about messages. So maybe this person wants to message you. But it's also reminding me that this situation might have cut in the past or might have hurt in the past. Um, so just to be maybe spirit is saying, because the feather is always a message from spirit. It's just reminding you to be uh, mindful of that and to be discerning once again. Okay, so let's get out some cards here for you. 
message cards. What has pile number two's person realised about pile number two and the connection? What have they realised about pile number two and the connection? Heartbroken, deeply hurt and sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair, breakup. Um, they, I feel like there could be heartbreak in this situation. It could also be, the energies could be all, you know, the other way around. Like, they could feel that you have hurt them. I don't, you know, I don't know. Sometimes the energies can get confused or mixed up in tarot reading. So maybe there's been a lot of heartbreak in this situation. And maybe that's been, been from you to them. I don't know. But there's definitely been sadness in this situation. Engagement ring. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership, union and completion. Yeah. I feel like with the, as I said before, this person wants to renew this. They want a union with you again. And maybe they want to take it with the engagement ring. Uh, to a higher level, to a deeper level, to elevate it, move it on or up a stage, if you know what I mean. Let's get some of these. Um, what has part number two person realised about part number two and the connection? What have they realised about part number two and the connection? I dream about you at night. I need some more time before I can come to you. And that would go with the patience and the trust in the invisible. So maybe there's uh, maybe there's a need with the solitude card for more space apart for healing, possibly. I wish we could be together, but it's complicated. Let's have one more. Will you help me? That could be as well. For some of you, this person is in a committed situation. With the emperor now i've got that card out there maybe they're in a committed situation and maybe the choice is about you so maybe they are realizing that they need to make a choice a choice for you and maybe they want to make that choice but it isn't the right time at the moment maybe there's um things that need to occur before they can come forward something like that but anyway pile number two that's been the reading i hope you've liked it if you have please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. But otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, power number three, welcome. Welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing, aren't we? Um, what has your person realised about you and the connection? And you chose to come into the reading under the judgment card here. There we go. And the calcite. Outside the stone, so let's put that there so you can see it. Hopefully, that will come back into focus. Yep. Um, how are you all? Is everyone okay? I really hope you are. Sending you all my love as always. Um, and just reminding you, of course, that it's general reading, so please just take whatever feels right to you and it's timeless, so it's good for whenever you are finding it. So let's just crack on, let's just get straight to it. So, for part number three. We are asking, aren't we, what has their person, the person in their mind, what have they realised about part number three and the connection? What have they actually realised about part number three and the connection? So let's have a quick look here. What have we got? So we've got, ooh, fulfilment. Beautiful, this lovely peach here. Mm, okay, and a judgment card as well. That's nice, actually. Um, beautiful, okay. Let's get out another uh, another card here. So what have they realised? What have they realised about pile number um, three and the connection? I just wanted to let you know as well, this, this is from the Supernatural Tarot deck. Um, I don't use it that much. I think it's based on a, a, a TV show or something. I mean, I just like it because it's, um, you know, I just, I just like it because it's the... the of the uh of the images really but um yeah obviously so um but just to let you know so if you're just interested that's that's what it is but anyway what we got here so we've got new love Ooh. embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or for spiritual growth so fulfillment new love judgment mm. let's get out the tarot let's get out the tarot and see what's going on here so for pile number three, oh, I'm not going to do that one yet. So for pile number three, what has their person realised about them, about the connection? What have they realised? So we've got, oh my goodness me, the nine of cups. Okay, right under the fulfilment card. 
Wow, and that one's speaking to me. The Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. What have they realised? Hierophant, okay. What have they realised about pile number three and the connection? What have they realised? The Nine of Wands. Full card. Oh my God, I mean... <laughs> This person has realised, um, but you are literally, I would say you are, you are sort of like some kind of love of their life, pile number three. Um, now, the judgment card is a card about taking things to the next level. It's about levelling up, it's about rising. So it could be that this situation, that they want to rise, to, to raise the vibration, if you like, of this connection to make it better. Maybe it's a connection, um, possibly, with the cross in the background here. It gives the idea of death and graveyard and all that. Uh, because, of course, judgment is about rising. So maybe they are wanting to the situation to rise from something that is um, not at that level, possibly. Um, or they just want to take it even higher. They want to raise the vibration even higher. I mean, I think they've realised that you are that person for them with the fulfilment here. It could be, for many of you with a new love card here, that they're looking for a renewed love with you or that you are a new love for them, that you are somebody that they're really, really attracted to. You are a wish for them with the Nine of Cups here, the wish fulfilment. You're somebody that's super duper attracted to them. This person has really got the hots for you. They've got the feels and they've got the hots. 100% with the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. You really stand out to them. You are somebody that is so attractive to them. And with the Hierophant here, of course, I mean, the Hierophant is about commitment. Um, it's about commit commitment in a conventional way. So this person isn't really messing about, isn't mucking about. If this is someone whom... Um, you're not in a relationship with, or it's a crush or an attraction, this person like wants to be in a relationship with you. It's not just a crush. They, they want to be in a relationship with you for sure. Um, and that's what they've realised. They've realised that they want to be in a connection with you. And if you are in a connection with them, they they want to take it to an, the next level. They want to have it even, you know, for it to be even more fulfilling for, for them and for you. Because the overarching energy is the Ten of Cups, which is absolute... What's that that's slidden out there? I'm just going to slide the one that's come out from underneath, which is the Page of Swords. I'm going to put that there because that came out from under the deck. Um, I mean, it's like total emotional fulfilment. It's complete happiness. So this person has realised either that they that you're with them and they you bring them, you bring them complete happiness. They're totally happy with you. There might be some struggles. I'm not saying it's, it's without its challenges sometimes it's not like this connection isn't without challenges because all connections have challenges don't they um you know apart from that like very early honeymoon phase but you know all connections have challenges but that that's not something that this person sees in any way as as a real threat in a, no way for this connection they, they're not in the least bit threatened by that they don't think it's a threat to the connection at all um and if this is something whereby a situation is in separation and they this person one hundred percent wants to get it together again. Wants to stand up for the connection and have this kind of new beginning with you, this new love with you, this renewed love with you. Um, for sure, because they see you one hundred percent as that happiness for them. You and them are something uh, that they see as bringing absolute happiness. Page of Swords. If you're not with this person, so this is a crush or. Uh, separation or whatever this person is checking you out big time they are keeping an eye on you they um really curious about you want to know everything there is to know about you um and they may want to message you at some point or connect with you at some point or show you or they definitely want to show you i think at some point but this person has realized i think that the main thing is this person has realized that you are the person that they want to be with that you make them incredibly happy that you are somebody that they want to start a new journey with, that you could provide absolute emotional fulfilment for them. 
um, and you know it's like they want it to raise to the next level wherever it's at so if you're not, not with them because it's a crush situation they want to bring in the new love if you're with them they want to bring it up to the next level if you're apart they want to come back together again they want to reconcile that they want to get over challenges and they want to fight for the connection really so that that's kind of these are very 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 positive cards it's the most positive card out of all of the cards in today's reading 100 percent uh this person i feel like there's a steely determination with this person here as well they are determined to um raise the vibration raise this connection to the next level 100 percent so what have we got here? So we've got Taurus. We have got all of the fire signs of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we've got Pisces. Uh, yeah, so those are the star signs here that we've got that I can see. Let's get out some more um, Oracle cards. Uh, what have we realised about pile number three and the connection? What have they realised about pile number three and the connection? Yeah, look. The bee and the pomegranate. The pomegranate is like fertility. It's a symbol, isn't it, of fertility, I think. And, you know, the bee is a symbol of hard work, working for the hive. So this person definitely wants this, like with the nine of wands. They want to stand up for this connection. They want to work for this connection. They want it to be fruitful and fertile again. Uh, and there's something very warm about this card, isn't there? There's a lot of warmth. It's reminding me of summer. Summer might also we have the peach here. It's, so summer might mean something to you and this person. Of course, we're in summer now. We're in late summer. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we are now in late summer. Um, you, know, I, you know, I see a lot of bees in my garden, actually, this time of the year. So there's something very summery, very warm, very sweet about how this person feels about you. For sure. Okay, let's have a look here what we've got. What have I realised about pile number two and the connection of these? What has pile number three, not pile number two, sorry. What has pile number three's person realised about pile number three and the connection? We have longing. Can you believe that? Longing this? Yeah, 100% I can believe it. This person is longing for you. Now, they might be with the bird here and the page was longing to reach out to you, longing to connect with you, longing to talk to you. Um, certainly, let's put that one there. Now, I also see this one, so I'm going to take it, which is unity. Whoa, this this person really does want to be with you. Look at all this this water here. There's a lot of this person is deep, deep, deep in their feelings for you. They've got a lot of feelings for you for all these cups here, for sure. Uh, let's get out some other tarot. Now, let me just move these so that we can actually create a bit of space for the other tarot. I don't want to, I do not want to cover up the beautiful Queen of Wands. That's not what I want to do. There we go. Um, right, okay. So let's get the other cards out. Let's get the other tarot and see what we've got. So, what has this person realised, please, about part number three and the connection? What have they realised? Uh, Pile number three and the connection. So we have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, new beginning again. Passionate new beginning. Sorry, can you see that? The Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning. Ten of Swords. What else have we got here? What have they realised? The Four of Wands. Oh my God, the Four of Wands underneath the Hierophant. Oh, number three, this person wants commitment. They want marriage. They want engagement. They want the next level. And it's definitely, because the, the Four of Wands is that ultimate kind of celebration marriage card. You can even see the marriage scene in this depiction of the Four of Wands, right? And it's come right under the Hierophant. You might even be married to this person. This You might be married to this person. This, this is a strong confirmation that this person is deeply in love with you. They care. You are their person, you are their soulmate, you are the person that they want to be with. Um, and, you know, even if there are challenges in the connection with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Wands, this is like water for ducks back for this person because it doesn't hinder or stop the depth of feeling that they have for you. You are, as far as they're concerned, you are the only person that they want to be in union with, uh, part number three. Goodness me. Uh, 
what have I realised? And maybe it was a marriage that came into separation or it's a connection that's coming to separation. The Ten of Swords is also about rising up. It's, it, the Ten of Swords always reminds me of the Judgment card it's, it's because it looks like a situation is dead, but there's always that hope there. And it always is about rising because Ten cancels down to one. So it's a new, bright new beginning. It's a passionate new beginning that this person is realising they want to have with you. What have they realised about card number three and the connection? Oh my God, now you've got the star. <laughs> the star, well, of course, uh, the star was the main card for card number two, but the star is about hope, it's about healing, it's about balance, it's about success and recognition and following your star, following your destiny. So I feel like this person is saying, this is my destiny, it's my destiny to be with card number three. I'm going to go for that one which is the two of pentacles. It might seem a little bit uncertain, maybe at times, sometimes it's a little bit uncertain, or maybe sometimes there are obstacles with the two of pentacles, or choices, or things that get in the way, things that try to um, disrupt the connection, all of that, you know, life challenges. Um, but again, you see, with this two of pentacles, it's, it's good actually, because normally... I feel like these are a bit more imbalanced, these two of pentacles. So I feel even when, what this person is realising is, even when things are a little bit out of balance or a little bit of out of kilter between the two of us, it doesn't knock us completely off balance. It's still, there's still balance between uh, me and pile number three. And the overarching energy is the seven of pentacles. And the seven of pentacles is about growth. It's about growing something. It's about nurturing something. It's about building something. So this person is realising that they want to grow, nurture, build, um, love this connection and also make it secure, make it solid, make it stable. That is what the Seven of Pentacles is. My goodness, what a fantastic reading, part number three. Uh, so let's see, so what has this person realised? What does part number three person realise about part number three? What do we have here? Yeah, infinity. Look, you've got the infinity, you've got the yin and the yang. I mean, it couldn't be more obvious. This person sees you as their other half, as, you know, you are the yin to the yang or vice versa, and that this connection is infinite. This connection is destined. This connection is something that goes on and on and on through time. There is a soulmate type connection to uh, to this to this feeling, to this, to this, to this uh, relationship. You've got the sun card here. There's warmth, there's love. You know, it's it's nurturing. It feels warm. I think I said that in that card. It feels warm. It's sustained. It's sustained. This person with the angel wing feels that this is a spiritual connection. It's a strong spiritual connection between the two of you. It's guided. It's destined. There's a destiny to it. And, yeah, the dog. There's hope in this connection. And also there is protection. And there is um, loyalty. There is loyalty, protection. And hope in this connection for this person. My goodness, pile number three. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. So, what has pile number three's person realised about this connection? What they realised? Ship, cutting ties, moving on, receive what you need, progression and arriving. So maybe there has this situation has come into separation, or there's something that maybe needs to be let go of to make this situation happen. In. But you've also got endings, new beginnings. So this is about endings and new beginnings, and you've got that here. So maybe something has come to an end, or maybe sometimes things look like they're going to come to an end, and then this person is saying, no, there's nothing coming to an end in this connection uh, because part number three means way too much to me. Coffee cup, meeting and talking, savouring the moment, feeling elevated, building a friendship. There you go, pile number three. Let's go for these ones. Let's see what we've got. What they realised about pile number three. I miss you, but I don't have time right now. That's interesting. What else have we got for pile number three? What have we got for pile number three? Do you love me the way I love you? 
And then I want to hold you in my arms. So there you go, card number three. That has been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now.